make that an in. We will make Dobar the tavern keeper, I guess. Then we'll specify this is a part of that in. thing is just for citizens. not have happy doors, but at least we have a pretty entrance. We've got that. Step over there and pray to them. It's really not that hard, buddy. I 
cannot train that one right now. So, here's the deal. We're gonna disassemble that rope. And just like that, it's trapped. Excellent. Perfect. the training. Maybe running low on drink again. Oh, we have a lot of big deals too. Alright. Uh, brew. Let's go 50. And then process plants. 60. I'm not going to be able to do anything with that today, so I'm not going to sit here and wonder about it. Thank you. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dwarves are resting because they are injured. Lovely. Two are dressing wounds. One suturing. But hey, we have one child who's playing Mike Believe. I got into an argument with Dobar. That makes me angry. <laughs> Blissful, remembering dining in a legendary dining room, at least. Kinda need Zephan to stop picking fights with everybody. Has now killed... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dwarves. Apparently everybody's vomiting everywhere. This is lovely. Lovely place to live. Hi, Paul Harvey. How you doing? <laughs> 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 Paul Harvey, thanks so much for the sub. Appreciate you. Uh, in case you don't know, people who sub to the channel get uh, their very own sub story. So if you feel inclined, you may give me three words and I will write a sub story for you. Probably not today because we're just about at the end of the stream. But uh, once I write it, I will clip it and put it into the sub story collection. If you're so inclined. No pressures. All you have to do is give me three words. And thanks again. Appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, we've... We're going to have to hope for some good migrant waves, because... Uh, also going to have to hope for our uh, lovely um, expedition leader to uh, keel over, I think. You've killed 11 named people. Oh, I suppose it's ten named people because one of them's a guinea hen, but still. You killed somebody's pet! <laughs> kind of an atrocious person. I, I, I cannot I cannot abide this. And by cannot abide this, I mean there's not really a whole lot I can do about it, but hey, I'm going to complain about it. Alright. So on the positive side, um, yeah, we can take apart this stairwell again. I think I'm also going to take apart this because I don't think I need it. And eventually we're going to need to build the tower on this side. So I want to go about to there, I think. Oh, good, we're fighting some more. So good. Oh, that was earlier. Never mind. I don't know. I don't know if this... <laughs> it seems too early to say that this fort is unrecoverable, but come on. So that's that Kawadi is skillfully trained now. So let's set up another rope. So 
The migrants have arrived. Huzzah. That's a cow. Oh, all right. <laughs> I was gonna say, there's nobody there, it's just a cow. Uh, Erish has 10 children. Yeah, this is, this is a faction that has a lot of children. So Dumat and Udil have come with them. Um, dreams of raising a family. Yeah, your dream has been realized, buddy. And we have Moses the woodcutter. Who looks like it's also going to be coming with a couple of children. Yep. Oh, hey, we have another necromancer. That worked so well last time. You also from... Yeah, you're from the Tornado of Cuts. You're the other necromancer. You're also probably dreaming of ruling the world. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Um, yeah, that's fine. Hey, really, any anybody who's got a positive attitude around here is is good good in my book. Potash maker. Not that we've ever made potash, but you know, if we do, we have someone that has the skills. A mule. Animal trainer. Legendary animal trainer. Can you train my gi giant kawadi? Another child. Another child. Oh, good. We have a hamster. Alright, this is a sizable migrant wave. Again, mostly children. Alright. But we're, we're a long ways away from having half children, which is what we had last time. So, alright. So, we've got a whole lot of <clears throat> new people here. Hopefully none of them will die at the hands of the expedition leader. We'll dig out a few more bedrooms as well. And this is supposed to be just temporary, but you know, it's kind of looking more permanent. Cannot build a door there. And he could, actually, but I don't want to build a door there. Access to a bit. Disassemble this one. So that's that. All right, we'll dig along here as well. all that because 
that's not what I want. All right, everybody. I think this fort might be savable. Hopefully Zephan, the murderous expedition leader, doesn't continue in his wild murder spree. Also, hopefully he doesn't do it in front of Cog the Necromancer, because then we'll also have animated people and animals. Must be ready to sacrifice when the time comes? Dude, you kill people. Not okay. All right. Well, it's time to say goodbye to Earth and Abyss. Maybe I shouldn't have called it Earth and Abyss. Maybe. All right, as usual. Uh, my stream is uh, Monday through Friday, 6.30 Eastern, till about 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, Tuesday will not be a stream this week. Wednesday will be. Um, and then Friday should be a long stream, probably around uh, 2 o'clock. Excuse me, starting at 6.30, going till around 2 o'clock. Uh, and I will probably split that one between writing and or fortress. Uh, there will be no streams next weekend, um, barring, you know, something changing, but I don't expect to. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, Warp Lens, that's that one. That's out now. It came out last week. You haven't picked up your copy of it? That's okay. You haven't offended me. Just go ahead and pick it up now, um, if you like. It is a horror anthology. It includes four Twitch authors in there, myself, Noir Lady Luck, uh, Usurper Kings, and Coffee Quills. Uh, yes, that Coffee Quills. Um, also, Futures Lens and Realities Lens, those are the ones that are up there. Um, those are also out now. Uh, I would also appreciate you picking those up if you like. Uh, regardless of whether you pick up these books or other books or look at YouTube videos, what have you, make sure you leave a like or a follow or a, some sort of rating or review if you can do that. Uh, they do make a difference. Uh, they make a huge difference to the people that uh, are kind of scraping by as far as this stuff goes. Um, yeah. Uh, thanks once again for the wonderful raids today. A raid from Cheshire Pope and Laura, Pil Laura Pilonen. Uh, thanks for the follows from Goldborn, uh, Laura Pilonen, and Andrea Jade Art. And the sub from Paul Harvey. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate you. Uh, we're going to raid somebody. I don't know who. Uh, let's see if anybody's streaming the Dwarf Fortress that I...